Let's just start with the research notes I have already. Alright, still have to wait for that. So tedious. Tedious? Tedious. Alright, anyway. Um, flash columns. Yes. Alright, so I'll. Uh, I'll try to not get really boring with research talk, so. I'm probably gonna be a bit slower about this and try to talk about something else. Um, uh, I know, um, evolution. Evolution is really weird when you look at nature actually, because when I first heard about it, I thought it was like an order of genes inside you that decided, hmm, this human could really use this in the future. Let's put that into the DNA so the next human after this gets that genetic modification, but um, then I heard that it was survival of the fittest, which um, that it's like sorry I'm being distracted again uh, that it's as if uh, the well, it's not as if it's according to science. It's just that a random mutation happens, and then and that and then whatever that random mutation is, it either helps or it doesn't, and if it helps, it it will survive, of course, and be added to the gene pool, but if it doesn't, it does, as a man who evolved that mutation will just die and it won't be added to the gene pool. But then, you can see something I'll, I'll get back to that. Um, one macabre golems made from zombie flesh has several features to recommend them. Ah, while macabre golems made from zombie flesh has several features to recommend them. Not only does it repair itself very quickly, it is able to hold two upgrades. Block of flesh, you. And yeah, right. That's disgusting. Uh, is that? Upgrade done now. Yes, it is. And I don't see the upgrade place thingy. Uh, oh, it's a tier five upgrade, so. I need to upgrade it a lot before I can actually do it. How much do you need? 16. Alright. And I'll just put it to do with that. Anyway, what I was about to say is that there are a few things in nature that seems very specific when it comes to evolution. So, for instance, instance, we have, well, we have that fungi that evolves, so it spreads spores, those spores gets onto ants, and then it grows into the brain of the ant, creating, well, um, taking over the brain and making the the ant go to the ideal location for the fungi, which seems awfully specific to me that a fungi would evolve exactly that. It just seems too specific. And you just... 
how do you evolve gradually to have that very specific trait? Is there something that by accident evolved to just... I mean... And the, the thing too is that, what would you get if you combine air and water? Ah, Tempest, of course. But, I mean, it, the knowledge of what must be an ideal location must also have come from somewhere. I doubt that the grandfather of the aunt just told, Oh yes, this is the... Uh, this is a very specific fungi, which when you... When it will get into your brain and make it go to an ideal location, and over there is that ideal location. So, if that fungi gets into your brain, go there, and then the ant gets it in the brain, and it just oh, I have this fungi in my brain. I should probably go to that ideal location so it, so it can kill me. I, I, I don't. It just seems too specific for me. Maybe I'm just overthinking this, but still, that that seems awfully specific for a fungi to have. And I don't think fungi have brains either, so I don't know how that happens. And I, I was about to... I don't think fire and water have a combination, does it? Nope. So I'll be ba I'll come back to that. L oh wait, can't you? All right, we can do that. So uh, we need life, spirit, and brains. And then we can add life in there, bug life. I don't know where that came from, I don't even know what it means, but it came from somewhere. So I guess it has a purpose. Purpose? It has a purse! Yes, that makes perfect sense. Why wouldn't it make sense? Order and... Let me see, what would order, life, earth, spirit? Ah, yes, of course, if I add... Actually, um... Doesn't... That would work. If we just do that and that. Then we... Add that and that and I think I know exactly what would go between there one focus primal you have gained warp and permanent warp excellent what manners possessed you to create this thing this focus seemed wildly dangerous and only a lunatic will attempt to use it anywhere but the most controlled environments Granted, the orb of raw primal energy is created creates quite devastating, but its path of travel is erratic at best, and downright malicious at worst. It does beg further study, however. The orb shows some interesting dimensional properties, and it exhibits energy patterns you have only seen in wisps and aura nodes, and it's not that hard to actually make. Yeah, I, I could make this. Easily. And also... Ha I... Hmm, that's the order. Yeah, the, the order of... Should I just make... Yeah, let's make it now. Why not? Can have a look at what it's talking about. And check what this is. Ah!
Oh, also I can scan that. You did not do a good job of picking that up. Anyway, um, Devil Bass, with this upgrade applied, the summon that are larger, tougher, and nastier. They never explode, but keep attacking their target till it expires or they are slain. This upgrade will make the summon format even more volatile. They always, always explode when they contact their target, and the explosion will be a lot more potent than normal. Let's get that. Let's get more experience. This is gonna take a lot of levels out of me before I'm getting to the upgrade I wanted. Luckily it doesn't use any water air. Is this on? Nope, need more order. Anyway, uh... Yes, you wanted the primal charm. How did you craft that? Oh, you need a balance shard. Do you have a balance shard? Uh, nope. Anyway, the order... I just realized that the order of the charges... Charges... Uh, charges? Charges. No, this is not chard. That's... That's a very odd way to pronounce it. Anyway, let's... Grab one of each of these, which you have most of kill, so let's grab one of all the others. One of order, one of fire, one of air, one of earth, and that is four. And then one of aqua, would it not be? Yes, it is. Alright, let's just do some quick alchemy and burn myself, because that is always a good idea, isn't it? There we go. But the order of the shards have always confused me, because it's first air, then fire, then it was aqua, I think. Then earth, order, and chaos. Well, the, then there. It's always this order, for some reason. And first I thought maybe these two are supposed to spell out my name, fire, air, but it's in the wrong order. If you take it in the other order, it won't ever work. And, but... Then I looked at the recipe of the balanced, uh, well, mixed crystal cluster. We have air and fire, and if you look at the alchemic symbols, you will see that these two are the ones pointing up, because they go upwards. Then is water, earth, the opposites in that direction, and that. These two point downwards, and then we have order, which is balance between these four and then we have chaos which i i guess that is sort of what is going on here but i don't really know anyway let's get on to oh. there we go how what was the recipe again it's oh diamond and quartz do you have that much diamonds just enough, if you want to leave one. Then we get back over here. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You have gained warp again. Is is this set correctly? Yeah, it is. Well, I guess I, in the meanwhile, can scan this.
You have discovered a clue to new research. Staff core of the primal? Ooh. That would be worth researching. Uh, is this ready now? It's hard to see because the heads up display is in the way. Um, yeah, I did actually move all the technological functions of my structural analyzer into enchantments in my goggles of revealing. That's why I still can see most of the stuff. But it only works for the functions that actually worked to begin with. So that's why I still don't get that. Whoa! That is very explosive. Jeez. All right. Wait, what? It's... Where is it heading? What? What? <laughs> you can actually scan it, that's brilliant! 